Welcome back to Grand Theft Auto Online. It's good to see you guys back here in Los Santos. We are waking up in our HQ, Los Pollos Hermanos. And uh, we are going to be taking on a brand new day. Not even sure where an outside window is, but you guys can see the sun is just rising over the city. And it's ours to take over. I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, today we are going to be checking out a new car. It's a new car for us. It's actually a car that came out... A little bit over a month ago, it was back in late December, and um, I just, I don't know, I, I think I was traveling, or I was probably down in St. Kitts, I, I wasn't even here, so I didn't even know it came out, and it's something I definitely want to check it out, I, I saw it, and I think yesterday's race, I believe, is when you guys saw that, and that, my friends, is going to be the, um, the Custom Comet, so we're going to look through here, through here, right here, the Feister Comet, it costs $100,000 straight up, but look at that! We've got a nice little wide body custom kit we can throw on it through Benny's. So uh, we're going to do a white Comet. We're going to buy the stock vehicle for 100 k And we are going to send it to, I guess, Office Garage 1. We should have plenty of room in there. All right. So we're going to head over to the elevators. We're going to head down to our first garage. And I'll see you guys once it's delivered. Damn, this is a good looking garage, guys. Oh, my gosh. We are slowly but surely moving up. Oh my goodness, look at these three beauties right here. So because we were going to go with the wide body kit on this Porsche here, obviously the Comet's modeled after the Porsche, I was going to go with white, because uh, I just I really like white on wide bodies. Like if you guys think about the Forza episodes, we did it on the GTR and on the Aventador and stuff like that. I, just, I think it looks really good in white, but we might, we might not do it in white here because we already have uh, this bad boy in white, which looks pretty good. So we might... We might explore some different colors here. It'll be interesting. We'll we'll switch things up. So, uh, since we spent all that money, we're going to take this thing into our custom garage in our office. No big deal. Just have an auto workshop here. And we're going to see what we can do. So, usually these custom upgrades are around, wow, $460,000. All right. Let's go ahead and do it. Whoa. Okay, so... Wow, this isn't only wide body, but it makes it super retro. So now this is a retro Porsche, which I actually really like some of the old Porsches. I think they're beautiful. I actually see quite a few of them around here in Orlando. So this looks pretty good. I'm happy with the way that this thing looks. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and go through and customize it up, and then you guys know the deal. Once we're all done with that, we're going to take this thing out in the streets and see what we can do. So we're going to go through, and I'm going to say, let's do all the, the basic upgrades that we're definitely going to want. I'm not going to change the wheels yet. Go ahead and limo out the windows. And then we're going to go through and we're going to do, I say, do we want to pick out a paint job first? Or should we customize the way it looks? Let's go for paint first. All right, so we're going to respray it here. Primary color. What do we have to work with? Let's look at some of the matte colors. See, I don't know. I, I feel like white accents white body so well. The ice white, it just, it, like with the black lines and the, the white, I just, I think it looks really good, but let's try to go for something a little bit different. Dude, we need to clear 15 more stunt jumps because I always see the lime green and I always like it. That's going to be, maybe we'll do that in our next GTA episode. We'll see. It seems like kind of a boring episode, but I see that all the time and I always want to want to be able to use it. Should we go for a yellow or a race yellow? That might be kind of nice. There's a do yellow. There's blue options, browns. Yeah. I think yellow is going to be a, a... Oh, well, actually, that looks pretty good right there. Let's go with a racing blue metallic. And then secondary... Hmm. Could go with a like the black looks pretty good. I was also thinking white. Let's see what classic colors we have here. How many cars you got in this garage again? The yellow actually looks pretty sick. Almost like a uh, a Pokemon vehicle, dude. I might, I might rock with that. All right, let's do the metallic yellow. See what the metallic yellow looks like. Dude, I kind of like that. Shout out to Pokemon Go, the brand new, uh, 
brand new generation just came out. We, um, I think we, sh we should have a video going up. It might have already been up when you guys are watching this. Anyway, that looks good to me. I like that. All right, trim color. Oh, we can change the trim. I say we go with the blue. I think, we or actually, probably the race yellow. Pretty. We're gonna be mainly blue with the yellow accents. You can see we've got the uh, the blue stitching in there. This thing is gonna be sick. All right, here we go. So let's start it from the top. We've got our exhaust. What do we wanna roll with here? Oh, the big bore exhaust. Hmm. I kind of like the chrome tip. It's not too crazy. All right. Fenders. What do we want here? Vented arches. Secondary color. Secondary vents. That's pretty sick. Or we could go with carbon vents. Or we've got the, the carbon with the bolt-on look. I like the secondary vents there. All right. Looks good. So let's change our hood up. See what we can get here. Kind of like... I like that. The street hood, hood accessories. Definitely want some uh, little hood catches there. Looks good. All right, interior. Let's let's finish with the outside. Oh, actually, we didn't check any libraries here. We're not gonna roll with any of those. It's all good. Is there anything else we're gonna do on the outside skirts? What do we have on? I mean, stock looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. Everything else looks kind of stupid, so we're gonna we're gonna rock with that. Oh my God, look at that freaking wing on there, dude. Do we? Need, I feel like we need a big wing on this thing. I actually kind of like the look of that. All right, we're gonna roll with the uh, the dining table wing. Looks good. And uh, ooh, wheels. Let's customize our wheels. So I don't mind the wheels that are already on there. Honestly, I have a hard time choosing wheels in this. Uh, in this game. I have a really hard time choosing them. I can't ever find ones that I like. I feel like I always ruin the car with the wheels. Not ruin it, but you guys know what I mean. Like, I, I seriously don't think it looks bad as it is. Let's check out the sport wheels. Ooh, those are kind of sick. I like those. All right, we're gonna go with Inferno. We're gonna change the color. We're gonna go with, oh, dude. That's kind of dope. I actually like the look of that. I'm gonna test out yellow or blue to see if it's too much. I like the yellow. We're gonna go with the yellow. Dude, this thing is gonna be gaudy as all get out, but we're just, we're gonna own it. We're gonna, we're gonna appreciate it. It's gonna be good. All right, so we're gonna have the custom tires. We're also gonna have the bulletproof tires. We'll go with the yellow smoke. This thing is blue and yellow as it gets. All right, so now let's go for the interior. See so you have going on here. So trim design. I don't think we want the sun visor thing there. We already customized the trim color. The dash. I kind of like, I'm going to go with this right there. I like this, the shifter. Ah, I kind of like the race though. I like the race look. Porsches are race cars, man. We're going to go with the race look. All right, let's see what other kind of gauges and stuff we want. I'm going to go with the pod mounted taco. All right, what do we want for the interior? We definitely want the cage. I think we're going to go with the carbon cage. Looks good. Seats. Definitely gonna have to go with some racing seats. Do we have any with blue for the seat belts? We don't. I don't like that we have to choose red, but I guess we're gonna go with the carbon track seats with the red. Steering wheels, I like that right there. Light color. You guys know I like the ice white roll cage. We'll do a, a full cage. You can think it. I can do it. Looks good to me. Uh, anything else? Nope, that's it. All right, so lights, headlights, we'll do some Xenons. Actually, we're gonna keep the stock lights because this is an old school Porsche. All right, so there she is, boys. Our brand new wide body Comet, AKA Porsche. Let's see how this thing works. I'm gonna exit the ground. I'm pretty excited about this. I think it looks pretty good. It sounds mean too. All right.
So the trick is going to be finding a race that uses these retro sports cars. It's going to be hard to, hard to, to find a lobby for that, I think, but we're going to try our best. All right. Let's see what we got here, boys. Oh my god, that thing sounds mean, bro. Okay, I can deal with this. This is actually super sick. I would rock the heck out of this in real life. I mean, it's a little crazy. I probably would have preferred all white or something like that, but I wanted to do something a little bit different, so. I'm happy with how it turned out. Sounds good under the bridge, too. And she's quick. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and go try to find a lobby. We're going to see if we can put this thing to the test. So far, it feels really good in terms of handling. I mean, look at us until that point. But yeah, it feels pretty good. I'll see you guys when we find a race. What do you think she's made of, guys? I think she's pretty. I think it looks pretty good. Oh, man. All right, we got invited to this lobby. Looks like there's only three people in it, and we're playing, uh, what is it called? T200 or something like that. I'm not even sure if we've ever seen this race before but looks like we're gonna have some jumps and some tubes and some water and all kinds of crazy stuff contact is off which is man that's kind of unfortunate in my opinion but that's all right oh that jump was to go over the the waves oh man this thing feels heavy this thing is it's a sports car so it's not going to be quite as fast oh somebody just fell off it's not going to be quite as fast as some of the other supercars we normally run with but it feels really heavy. It's slow to stop. It's kind of slow to turn. I don't know. It's interesting. Part of that might be because we're hitting water, but... It feels interesting, that's for sure. We just saw some fireworks back there. I'm pretty sure we did. Alright, well... I think this race is a little bit unfair. I don't see anybody else even close to us. Oh, gosh. Oh, he fell for the same thing right there, too. You're supposed to go up on the wall. This is kind of an interesting waste. I like this. Only doing one lap. This guy is on our tail, so... Let's not count all of our chickens before they hatch here. Go across this bank. Come in. Watch out for the wall. I'm not gonna lie, these guys were kind of slow. Uh, this isn't this isn't the race I was looking for. We're gonna try to find something else. I'm gonna see if we can find something else, make something else work. Get some more people in here and get contact on, because this was an easy win. Hopefully. Look at that guy all the way back over there. What what's he doing? Where's he at? I don't even he's not even on the map anymore, it looks like. Alright, yeah. Easy wins. Okay. Well, it felt good there, but that's because I didn't really have that great of competition. So we're going to see what happens when we get some other people in the lobby who can actually race. All right, fellas, here we go. This is the Atomic Roller Coaster. It's a brand new race. Just found it on the, um, what's it called? Social Club. So I've never played this one before. I don't think we've ever seen this one before on the channel. And uh, it should be interesting. Here we go. Got to watch out for the soccer ball. There are multiple soccer balls all over the place. Oh, good. Okay. All right. This is this is pretty crazy so far. I'm feeling confident about our uh, our car, though. It's super. It still feels really heavy. Um, it's a good and a bad thing. Oh gosh. Wow. Okay. Where are we going now? Ooh, we overdid it a little bit. <laughs> oh, that guy did not do it quite enough. I think he might have hit the, the ring. He got the checkpoint, though. I'm pretty sure. Ooh, went through the fire. Okay. Dude, this one's kind of confusing. I'm not going to lie. Got the whoops here. Nice. Dude, we've got to make another troll track here soon. we got to make a legitimate racing track, too. Like, I really like the custom creator in this game. Especially if you make something this high up. That'd be a fun one to make. Do a bunch of weird stuff. Oh, somebody already rage quit. Dang, dude. What's up with it? These guys were pretty high levels, too. This guy's a 73. I'm pretty sure the other guy was more. Whoa, okay. Let's slow this down. All right, let's see where we're at here. But yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of this thing. For the sports cars, I mean, like I said, it feels a little slow. It feels a little heavy. But overall, it's pretty good. <laughs> 
Okay, I thought I was gonna move quicker than that. We're gonna watch out here. We might have some problems with this other guy catching. Did he leave? No, he's still behind us. I'm not sure where he is, but he's behind us. Here we go, baby. Woo! Yes, sir! Oh my gosh. Lots of colors going on here. Red and blue tube. Blue and yellow car. Blue and yellow, blue and yellow. Oh gosh. Okay, nailed it. Nice. There it is. All right, that wasn't too bad. Guy behind us is struggling just a little bit. <gasps> okay. Well, that was not expected. I guess we have a hole in the wall there. I wasn't... Oh gosh, we've got two holes in the wall. Dude, this could make for... This is like the makings of a troll track right here. We've already had a couple of different ideas. All right. We'll cut through here and here. Grab this checkpoint. Oh my goodness, there's more. But wait, there's more. Woohoohoo! All right, that was perfect. Into the finish line, see if we can get a strike here. Nope, not gonna get a strike. Oh, that wasn't this finish line either. Kick the ball on the goal. Nice! <laughs> oh, we missed it! It went off the sidebar. That'd be cool if you could add, like, different things you had to do into races. So you had to, like, kick the ball on the goal and knock over a pin and all kinds of stuff like that. So we are still on the first lap here. This is insane. He just committed suicide again. I wish we would have had better competition, but I'm going to be honest. I waited for nearly two hours to get into this lobby. I found this race, I found that it had sports cars. I was like, all right, I wanna do this race. I'm gonna keep like starting up new lobbies, inviting people, putting on auto invite and stuff like that. It took almost two hours. I actually left it on auto invite. Left it automatically inviting people and went and had dinner. Came back, nobody was in the lobby yet. So unfortunately, we can't be too picky when it comes to who ended up in here. I would have liked to have eight people in this race, but just wasn't in the cards oh my gosh dude this track like it's got big jumps and it gets it, they're tiny landing zones all kinds of little quirky things here all right back to the flames i guess i'll just keep you guys, i was like usually if this was if we were to do another race i would i would cut this out here and be like all right guys i'll see you guys in the next race but this is it this is my last time with you guys so We'll just have a, a really solid finish here for a lap time. Around this thing we go. This thing's just solid, bro. It's got that big back end. I think that adds to the feeling of weight. It's like the, the Nicki Minaj car, bro. Oh, gosh. Nice. Let's get it, bro. What? <laughs> what are you doing? He ran right into the stop sign. He still hasn't gotten around it. What is it? He's a level 74. Is this a joke? It certainly seems like a bad joke. Oh my gosh. All right, guys. Final section here. We've got the tubes. Not too much more to go. I don't think, on a, especially on a track this big, I don't think we've ever lapped somebody. Because this is a huge track. And we just lapped that guy. Oh my gosh, we just did the exact same thing again, bro. If this thing isn't even meant to be a troll track, think about the stuff we're going to be able to do. The different holes in here. I want to put, like, holes in the thing like that, but you have to do, like, a full spiral to get through while there's a, a one of the spinny things in the middle or, like, something crazy, you know what I mean? One of these things. Nice. All right, hit a left here. Two wheel in it. I like this section right here. This is well made. Woo! Straight through the middle. All right, we're gonna try to put this uh, this soccer ball in, man. Oh, it fell down. 
Take it, are you serious? That's okay. All right, the loop-de-loop, -loop, and then we are gonna be just about at Elfine. I'm gonna do a backflip here. Yes, sir. There it is, baby, beautiful. Landed it, got the 50 reputation points for it. That's what I like to see. Drifting in this wide body. All right, guys. And that, my friends, is just about going to do it. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I wish we could have had a better, uh, a better race for this thing here at the end. But um, it's a sick car. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed customizing it with you all and just kind of hanging out. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace out.